Fibonacci retracement. This is one of the technical analysis tools that can help us to isolate key trading zones. It is the most basic Fibonacci tool. Fib retracement study the ongoing trend move and provide an area that the future corrective move could occupy. It is used to project the end of a correction and many traders all over the world use these levels as a potential support and resistance. So our goal as a trader in an uptrending market is to buy from short-term weakness and in a downtrending market is to sell from short-term strength. So we will use Fibonacci retracement to isolate the end of a corrective move. All right, so we can uh, ride this impulsive move to the upside and to the downside. So we have a lot of Fibonacci ratios, but what we're going to use are 23.6%, 38.2%, 50%, and 618% retracement. And then lastly, 78.6%. So 23.6% is the less important level 38.2 50 percent and 618 percent are the most important levels so many traders are using these ratios to isolate support and resistance level so 50 percent is not uh, actually a fibonacci ratio but since but since there's a psychological a reason behind 50%, uh, 50% retracement works in financial market. And then lastly, 78.6%, the retracement of last resort, all right? So, or the last defense in Fibonacci ratio. Retracement ratios are used to analyze corrective pullback by measuring previous trend move. So, in an uptrending market, this is our impulsive move. So, this is our higher low and then our higher high. Now, once this higher high is already established, we can assume price will pull back, entered into a corrective move or corrective phase to create a higher low. So, once we see price pulling back, we will use Fibonacci retracement to isolate potential uh, the potential level where this corrective move might end. So we're going to plot our Fibonacci retracement tool from point A, the starting point of this impulsive move, to point B, the end of the impulsive move. Then our ratios will appear. So, this will be our pullback zone. This is where we will wait for this corrective move to end. So, it could end at 38.2%, 50%, 618%, or 78.6% retracement. So, we don't know where actually a corrective move could end. That is why we still need to wait for confirmation. Okay? So, in a downtrending market, we have an impulsive move downside, lower high to lower low. Now, once lo our lower low is already established, we can assume price to pull back entered into a corrective move to create a lower high. So, again, as a trader, our goal in a downtrending market is to buy or to sell from short-term strength, all right? So, this is where we will use Fibonacci retracement. So, once we see price pulling back, we will plot it from point A, the starting move of our impulsive move or our lower high, to point B, the end of the corrective move or our lower low, all right? And then our Fibonacci ratio will appear. So this is our pullback zone or trading zone in Fibonacci retracement. Again, um, we don't know where this pullback or corrective move 
could end. So we will wait for confirmation. Alright? So how to input Fibonacci retracement ratio? So uh, I think most of the charting platform or trading platform um, provide a Fibonacci retracement tool. So, um, when you see your Fibonacci retracement tool, you can customize the ratios, right? So, we have 0 and 1. So, this is our anchor point, 0 and 1. Now, for 38.2%, uh, we will put it as 0 0.2. 382 for 50% 0.5 for 618 0.618 and for 78.6% 0.786 alright how to plot Fibonacci retracement tool alright so I am using TradingView as my charting platform and if you are using TradingView you are gonna find Fibonacci retracement tool right here on the left side of your screen. So on the third row, you just hover your mouse and then click this uh, tiny right arrow, right? And then drop down menu will appear and then choose Fibonacci retracement. So again, for our ratio, 0 and 1 is our anchor point, 38.2. Uh, 50%, 618, and 78.6%. Now, I don't personally use 23.6%, but if you want, uh, you can definitely use it. All right? Okay, so we're going to analyze uh, USD JPY daily time frame. So from here, as you can see, we are in a downtrending market, right? But right here, when price established a support, Price impulsively moved up, breaking this previous lower high and made a, a new high, right? So we have a higher high. Okay, now since we have a higher high, we can wait for price to enter into a corrective move to establish a higher low in anticipation of another move up right because we have this uh, change uh, change in structure so we are expecting for a price reversal okay and also this is an impulsive move upside okay so we're going to use fibonacci retracement to project where this higher low could establish okay so we will wait for a pullback now once we see an obvious pullback right so from higher high to higher low we will now use our Fibonacci retracement tool okay so we're gonna plot our fib from point a so where the where the impulsive move started to point B where the impulsive move ends all right and then our ratio will appear now again we don't know where the corrective move could end right we just have to wait for uh, a confirmation so it could it could end here 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 or even here okay so one confirmation that uh, we can wait is to wait for a candlestick rejection or a price action pattern a continuation pattern all right so let's move forward so as you can see price is currently holding 38.2 percent and price printed a low test reversal candlestick so at this point um, if you are a candlestick uh, candlestick trader you can definitely trade this right then put your stop loss here and uh yeah just ride ride the move okay so let's see what happened okay so price moved down testing this 50 percent so basically 38 percent uh 38.2 percent did not hold we are currently testing 50 percent 
Okay. Now, Price is currently uh, trying to move away from 50%. And uh, as you can see, we are also forming a continuation pattern, right? Bull flag, pull, and then flag. Now, uh, if you are a price action pattern trader, uh, we can wait for a breakout if we want to trade this uh, pattern, right? So price, and then there. There is our breakout, right? So we can uh, trade this as a breakout, then put our invalidation right here, right? And then just write the move. Okay, so 38.2% did not hold we, and we got a rejection at 50%, right? And then uh, price formed this uh, this bull flag. Okay, so let's see uh, what happened next. So price moved up, breaking this previous uh, higher high. So we made a new higher high. So price continues to rally. So if you uh, if you did not uh, trade this first move, right? Uh, we can still wait for price to pull back since it made a higher high, and then wait for uh, uh, the next corrective move to end. Okay. So price continues to rally. And then price started to pull back. Okay. So what we can do here is we can plot our Fibonacci retracement tool from point A to point B and wait for a rejection at either 38.2, 50, 618, or 78.6%. All right. Okay. So as you can see, price just passed through. 38.2% retracement and then 50% is currently holding and then price started to move up breaking this previous um, higher high right so 38.2% did not hold 50% is the level where this price uh uh, rejected so looking left we can also see that uh, this 50 percent retracement level acted as a resistance before okay so if you did not uh, enter at this uh, at this um, rejection since we are now in an uptrending market we can still wait for a pullback in anticipation for the next upside move all right so impulsive move upside then now price start starting again to pull back so we can plot our fibonacci retracement so from point a to point b then wait uh, for a confirmation in this trading zone all right so 38.2% did not hold, 50% did not hold. Now we are currently testing 618%. And then boom, right? 618% rejected this price and then moved to the upside. Okay, and then break this, uh, break this previous higher high, all right? Let's have another example. So we are looking at GBP USD 15 minute time frame. As you can see, we are in a downtrending market. So price uh, impulsively moved down, followed by a very obvious corrective move. Okay. So um, let's see where this um, corrective move could possibly and so we're gonna use our Fibonacci uh, retracement tool. So since this is our impulsive move downside, from from this point we're gonna plot our Fibonacci. All right. So point A, 
point B. Okay. So as 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 we can see, price did not hold thirty eight point two percent, and then rejected uh, the fifty percent retracement. All right. So this uh, fifty percent retracement, looking left, also acted as a support before. All right. So uh price also formed a continuation pattern all right a a bearish flag pattern now once we see price breaks through this bear flag uh that's our confirmation that this uh this downside move can continue all right so uh again 38.2 percent did not hold 50 percent held right and then price starting to move down let's have another example gold daily time frame so as we can see from here price rallied to the upside creating a higher low and then a higher high higher low and then higher high right and then suddenly price aggressively moved down breaking this previous higher low and created a lower low so since we have a lower low and uh, an impulsive move downside we can expect for price to enter into a corrective phase and establish a lower high so we're going to use uh, Fibonacci retracement to project where this corrective move or pullback could possibly end. Okay. So since uh, we are now seeing price starting to pull back, we can now use our Fibonacci retracement. So from point A, so where this uh, Im a downside impulsive move started, to point B where this move ended all right so this is our Fibonacci ratios as you can see price is currently testing 38.2 percent okay printed an indecisive candlestick and then a bearish one and then price starting to move down right did we test 50 percent so we barely uh we barely tested uh, this 50 percent retracement and then eventually moved down all right so as we can see this area between 38.2 percent and 50 percent retracement held right okay and then move down now it uh don't expect that uh price will exactly reject this level right so since fibonacci retracement is also a support and resistance level uh, we could expect that this level will be a zone right not an exact level okay so uh, going back uh, price moving down breaking this previous uh, higher low now creating a new low okay as you can see uh, price started to pull back again so we made a lower low right so if uh, if we assume that price will continue to go down we can plot our fibonacci retracement right so from this high to this low so 38.2% did not hold, 50% did not hold, and then we are currently testing 618%. Then price actually uh, break this uh, 618 and then tested the 78.6% retracement. So again, we don't know where the market will uh, reject. So we have we really have to wait for confirmation. As for this one, price uh, tested this seventy-eight point six percent retracement and printed a high test reversal candlestick. So let's see what happened next. 
price move down, breaking this previous lower low. Alright? So, uh, price created this lower low, new lower low. And then, right now, it is starting to pull back again. So, if we want to trade this, we can, again, plot our Fibonacci retracement tool from this high to this low and wait for a reaction at our pullback zone. Right? So, 38.2% did not hold. But as you can see, uh, at 50% retracement, price printed an, an indecisive candlestick, right? And then reversed, okay? All right, so that's how you use Fibonacci retracement.